Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the project Spagadex based on S9 vendor and this will uh, uh, enable treble access on your device. So your Galaxy J7 2016 will become a treble enabled device. So I'm going to show you the procedure of installation of GSI is how to enable treble on your device with the latest pro uh, project Spagadex X vendor. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into so it. So guys, first of all, this is for like a lot of 7870 devices, but I have the JSON 2016. So I'm just only going to explain about the JSON 2016. For other, you can watch other videos or you have the XTA threads for them separately. So this is the JSON 2016, uh, which I had and I made a lot of videos on it. And finally, it has got Android uh, 10, like uh, many users booted it before it was leaked. But yeah, now I can finally run Android 10 and yeah i can call it as stable but there are some few bugs which i'm going to explain uh to you guys in the later part of the video so please watch the full video so first of all you can see this is the gsi and works really well and yeah flash g apps and all that i don't have a sim card so i just turned on the airplane mode you can see i have the havoc os 3.1 gsi with the january 1 2020 security path so yeah all the updated gsis are working fine i've tested this on pixel experience and they work fine and there are some few more GSIs and those are unofficial because official Android 10 GSIs are yet to be launched and there is one USB by PHH so you can try that which is like the most stable maybe but it is plain USB so without customizations. So yeah this treble uh, uh, GSI is really great but there are some GSI related bugs so you can face them and also on this device I faced a YouTube bug so whenever you are watching a video you, on YouTube like just if you uh, I open the YouTube app and then go to the video then it will just reboot so this issue isn't fixed so yeah if you're just going to deal with this issue it's if it's okay for you then you can easily go for this one so yeah if you're like gonna go to the browser and open YouTube the same is going to happen so yeah the YouTube bug is there but yeah other than that the uh, ROM is smooth and you can see it feels really great to use a lot of customizations available so yeah I can really give it a try there are a lot of options like bootleggers, pixel experience, this one, ASP extended and a lot of GSS will be coming soon so you can check it on the list and the, all of the links, the download links and all are in the description below. So yeah, this is the Habakos GSI and yeah, you can see works well. It, oh sorry. And about the camera, you can see we get this stock ASP camera but also uh, the suggested camera is footage camera which is installed uh, pre-built. So you can... Yeah, I love just and it's the like an advanced camera for your device. So yeah, you can see quality is okay and you won't get touch with like quality. So yeah, you have to compromise, some, compromise somewhere and yeah, you can use it as your like this is a really old device. So don't expect everything to work really perfect and whatever working here is a really great work by uh, the developers. So yeah, thanks to them. Also now let's move to the installation. There is not much to explain. You have to experience this. Now I don't use this device as a daily driver so I cannot explain the core core minor bugs but yeah this is smooth actually and a usable build, uh, usable vendor and it's based on S9 so yeah a lot of fixes have been made and a lot of stuff has been added so you can check out that. Now let's move to the recovery so you can move it with the with this one or you can just press the volume up the home and the power button to go into the recovery and you have to power it off first so yeah. And now we are into the TWRP recovery. So first we have to just wipe this. Uh, yeah, you have to wipe your older ROM or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, the first thing is to create vendor. So you have to create the second vendor. Now if you're on the older vendor, you have to first do is revert vendor. This one. Suppose you're on the older vendor. Now I'm the newer, I'm on the newer vendor. I hope it does not show anything. There is a new uh, revert vendor script for the second one too. So yeah, I hope this does not mess up anything. Just showing it for the video. So yeah. And yes, please download all of the files properly. So yeah, this is the procedure from like from moving to, to from the older vendor to the newer one. So yeah, you have to flash the revert vendor zip. And again, reboot into the recovery like this. Now go to install again and you you have to flash the create vendor 2.0 zip.
now it says reboot recovery and flash any gsi you like so yeah just wait for it to be done it's done now just reboot to recovery simply yeah this is a really long process for coming and if you already flashed like a triple rom you can just wipe and easily go like the one i'm doing and now you can see you have uh, oh sorry you have to install image now uh, get the image of your gsi this is the havoc os gsi to the system image and flash it i'll be making a detailed video if uh, some fixes are be there but yeah this is the installation video of the spagedex vendor so please focus on here and actually uh, there will be a lot of gsi bugs related gsi related bugs sorry so yeah please focus on the main thing that we can boot android 10 or on our galaxy gsi 2016 which is almost a 4 year old device and yeah we have been a lot with this device so yeah and still for a device like this like uh, many of Sha xiaomi devices are there for development still de uh, developers are focusing on this older device so please thanks uh, to all of them and yes the xta thread is down below so go there if you have xta account press the thanks button if not just make one it's easy so the gsi has been flashed now you have to flash this uh, project spagadex which is the vendor so guys the spagadex gsi has been installed now if you have any issues related to open g apps installation so as you can see i will just uh, swipe to confirm flash here now it will fail i guess and if it does not fail okay so it has failed and it says insufficient storage space available so i'll show you what you have to do now first you have to go into wipe advanced wipe uh, system repair or change and resize file system it will fail now just go again back to the recovery okay so back onto the recovery go to install again oh, sorry go to wipe again system resize now this time it will be done yep now install open g apps without any issues as you can see open g apps are getting installed so guys g apps have been installed now let's reboot system and let me show you the boot animation the havoc boot animation and it may like reboot into the boot logo for two or one or two times and then it will show the boot animation just wait for it and you can see the boot animation is up and yeah it did not boot it back into the boot logo but yeah on this amulet screen the boot animation looks so good uh, it, uh like i uh, think it should have been a smaller size one and look so good but yeah let me straight boot in the system uh, let me boot in the system and i will show you the setup screen. and guys the rom has been booted and you can see yeah this is the setup screen i hope you can see that uh the whitish because of the high brightness so that's it uh, hope you guys will like this video and if you guys will really uh yeah like this video press the like button and if not press the dislike button post your opinions down below in the comment section and if you have any failures during installation post it in the comment section as well uh and bye bye nothing else and please do subscribe i'll be bringing a lot of more videos on the gsi reviews and if any update on the spagadex vendor to fix some issues relating related to this vendor then i will surely make yeah if there will be a major issue so bye bye I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Fine.